Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's the Fa. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these really creepy fake teeth out of fake nails and liquid latex. It's super easy. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and I'll show you how to do this. So this variety pack of fake nails, press-on nails, is from Daiso. It's like a dollar fifty store, and there are various sizes. To cut the um, teeth, you're going to need a pair of nail clippers, and I also have some liquid latex. This is by Ben Nye. This one is like a skin color. When it dries, it'll give you something like this. And then this one is a clear one. You can actually add some color into the liquid latex while it's still wet. That will kind of tint the latex when it's dry. Tiny pair of scissors. This is just a cuticle trimmer to trim this excess parts of the liquid latex. It's really up to you. Again, if you're doing animal teeth, you might want to do big ones like this, skinny ones like this. For most people, there's going to be seven teeth going this way and then seven teeth going that way. For the bottom row of teeth, it's also going to be seven teeth going that way, seven teeth going that way. This extra stuff that you may have because the latex may have oozed out, you're going to use your little cuticle scissors and just trim off any excess latex that you don't want showing. So yeah, I just trimmed that back part. If you wanted to kind of touch up certain areas where it's a little messy. And then trim accordingly. Just be very gentle. There you go. So I've picked out three various sized nails. This one is maybe like the middle finger size and maybe like a ring finger size and this is definitely a pinky. So front teeth, I'll show you how to do that with the middle finger size. So there's usually a curved part and then a flat part of the nail. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to be trimming with the nail clippers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the nail to whatever length of tooth that I want. Make two cuts, so I'm gonna trim right here. And then I'm gonna take the nail clipper and trim again. I'm gonna save this because I might use it later. Even up the clip. This again, it's gonna be the bottom of the tooth. This is gonna be the gum line. So I need to kind of smooth out this edge. Um, teeth aren't gonna be at a 90 degree. I'm gonna round out the corners a little bit. And some teeth actually are fan-shaped, some are very square, so just make the teeth according to whatever characteristic you're building. I'm gonna taper in this top corner along the gum line. Trim it closer to how you want the tooth to look. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bottom tooth, um, a narrow tooth. So this is a pinky nail, it's the smallest one I could get. Determine the length of the bottom tooth. I like to save these extra bits just in case if I want to use them. And I'm actually going to make the tooth a little bit more narrow. One more on the other side to make it a little bit more narrow. Now I need to round out the bottom of the tooth along the gum line. That's pretty much your bottom tooth. With the larger nail, I'm going to show you how to make a molar as well as an incisor. Chop this in half, and I'm going to save the other half for the molar. So I'm going to do the incisor first. This is actually a little bit too wide. This bottom part is going to be the gum line, pointy part of the tooth. And everybody's incisor is going to look a little different. Same thing with animal incisors. That's going to be a bottom incisor. So now I need to do the gum line. Trim. I find that with the incisors, um, the top of the gum line tends to make like more of a pointy arc as, instead of like a upside down U. It depends on the person and what their gum line looks like. But for the most part, I find that the incisor area, it has like that little arch. So you've got a little oval for your incisor. 
So front tooth, one right next to it, incisor. It's gonna go right there, more or less. With this leftover piece, I'm gonna show you how to make a molar. So the molar, that's gonna be the larger teeth. So I'm rounding out the gum line of the molar. And for the top, sometimes the teeth have kind of a um, W shape or like a little inverted area right here. Make a little incision, one here, one there. Trim off some of that. Take some of that off, trim this end also. And that looks okay for a molar. So I'm going to be using the clear latex for this demo. This one I think is pretty much out. Uh, this came with a brush, but as you can see, you don't want to use a good paintbrush because it's going to get all gross. You want to use a non-porous surface. So you can even use plastic or a mirror or glass. This smells really gross. I'm going to pour a little bit of this out. And if you wanted to be precise about the shape, again, you can use a brush you don't care about, or you can use the back of a paintbrush. Oh, it smells so bad. Blech. So to get this effect where the tooth looks like it's going in and it's kind of puffed up over here, kind of inserted the tooth into the latex. You see when I push the teeth in, there's like a little rounded out kind of bubble mound forming. So you're gonna let that dry. You're gonna know when it's done because it's gonna change color. This should lay nicely along your skin and to attach it, you're gonna use some more latex on the skin, apply that. You can use disposable sponges, makeup sponges. Just stipple that on, that's pretty much how it works. When that dries, it should look like this. Well, it's gonna be a different color, but it should come out like this. And yeah, simple, easy. It smells really bad, but it looks really cool. So enjoy.